Hi everyone, welcome back to another bar model session. Today in our bar modeling video, we're going to look at equivalent fractions. Now fractions are very well known to be one of the topics that bar models are perfect for. And it's not just for problem solving, but it's also for teaching fractions, whether that be the basics fractions, where we look at equivalent fractions like we will do today, or even addition and subtraction of fractions. It makes a lot more sense for pupils to actually look at fractions in a more physical concrete way before moving on to the pictorial representation so let's jump onto my board and have a look at equivalent fractions so um we're going to start off with a basic fraction so let's draw a bar to represent our whole so we've got a hole there and if i split this hole into two equal parts like so let's see something like that i've got two equal parts there okay how are we going to be able to show equivalent fractions with these two equal parts what do i need to do what can i do right how is this going to look like in a lesson that's another important question we're going to have to ask right so if i've got two equal parts here class what do we call those two equal parts we call these parts a half why is it called a half it's a really important question why do we call this a half and typically we will get children and teachers say that there are two parts but that's not the main reason why we call that a half we call this section a half because there are two equal parts good but there are two equal parts that make the whole this is one out of the two equal parts. This is one part out of the two equal parts that make the whole. We can see the whole here. We've got two equal parts that make the whole. And the green shade the section is one out of the two equal parts. And hence why we call this part a half. A half is one equal part out of two equal parts that make the whole. And so starting to look at fractions, firstly, we've got to be really clear with our language. What is a half? How do we describe a fraction? What does it mean? How many parts are there? What are the parts looking like? In this case, there are two parts, but there are two equal parts. They have to be equal, right? And so when we go on, to draw the same whole and we say class if i split this into four equal parts what are these called why are they called what they're called have a discussion with the person next to you come back to me what we want to hear is yes this is called a quarter but it's called a quarter because there are four equal parts that make the whole. That question you've got to keep asking, why is it called a quarter? Why, 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 right? Why is it called a quarter? Because there's this one piece is just one out of four equal parts that make the whole. So that last part that make the whole is so important. Equal parts that make the whole. That's what fractions are, right? So we've got a quarter here. Class, can you see that there's also a half in my picture? Uh, I can see a half, right? Can you see a half? Where's that half? Uh, I'm gonna show you the half. This is the half. This is also a half because there are one of those pieces, that blue piece, and another one of those blue pieces, that's two of those blue pieces, that make the whole and those two pieces are equal right and so we can say this is a half this is a half and so how many ha how many halves are there to make the whole there are two halves that make the whole but how many quarters are there that make the whole there are four quarters that make the whole and this is the important part class a half is represented here let me use a different color, show it a bit better. A half is represented here. But a half is also, how many lots of quarters do I have there? That's one quarter, that's another quarter. Ah, I can see that a half is equivalent to 
two lots of quarters. How did we get that class? Oh, I know. I can see that we had a whole quarters represented four equal parts. And so before the whole though, let's go back a step. Before the whole, before the whole quarters rather, before the quarters, we have halves. I've got two halves here. In order for us to see quarters in here, I'm going to split each of these halves into two equal parts. And so we have quarters. And so this one half, this one piece, I cut into two pieces. And so a half, this one piece, I doubled into two pieces, two smaller pieces, right? And we had two pieces, a half here and a half there. We had two pieces that made the whole, two equal pieces that made the whole. And each of those pieces, I also cut into two equal pieces. So therefore I have four equal pieces. And so what we want our children to do, before we write it down actually, what we want our children to do is realize that ah, I multiplied the numerator by two and the denominator by two to get an equivalent fraction. Does that always work class? So that's when we can get them to investigate a few more questions like this, a half and thirds, right? Is that possible? Um, we have a certain amount of thirds. Why is that not possible? Oh, maybe a half and eighths. Can we make halves out of eighths? So those discussions are also very important, right? For the children to explore what equivalent fractions look like, how we can create equivalent fractions, and also why we multiply the numerator denominator by the same amount or divide in some cases as well to find an equivalent fraction. I hope this video was helpful for you and we're having um, a go at making more videos like this. So if you're interested in our video series, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you want to get regular emails, please subscribe to our newsletter and we would love to hear from you if you have any feedback or any information that you want to share with us with your experience uh, of teaching bar modeling in your class. Thank you everyone. Take care. Bye.